Welcome to Help My Daughter Loves Horses, where we help you enjoy horses in a fun, safe way. Alright, so today's video is about trotting. The first thing you need to know is that trotting is a two-beat gait. That means there are two distinct points at which the horse's hooves hit the ground. I'll slow it down for you so that you can see it really clearly. First notice that in a trot, a horse moves his legs in, in pairs. His right front and his left hind go together, and then his left front and his right hind go together. Here, Noah is standing on his right front and left hind while swinging through with his left front and his right hind to start the trot. This is the first beat of the trot. Next, you'll see him swing through with that left front and that right hind. Now comes a moment of suspension where all of Noah's feet are off the ground at the same time. This is what can make the trot seem bouncy, as Noah is basically taking little jumps every stride. After that moment of suspension, Noah's other pair of legs swings through and lands on the ground. This is the second beat of the trot. As Noah's right front and left hind swing through again, we're back to the beginning so we can start the cycle all over. So now that you understand the basics of a trot, we can talk about posting while watching me and Noah trot in circles here. Posting is something that English riders do to make a trot feel less bouncy. The idea is that you rise and fall with one of the bounces so that you absorb some of that shock. Remember, we talked about Noah's legs moving in diagonal pairs. When you post, your body should rise out of the saddle as his outside leg, or here his left leg, moves forward. If you watch carefully here, you'll notice that my seat rises out of the saddle every time his left front foot reaches forward. Now, you very well might ask, what happens if you get on the wrong diagonal, or if you change directions and have to switch diagonals? Well, what you do is you simply sit for an extra bounce so that when you rise out of the saddle, you've changed which leg you are following. Noah and I will demonstrate it for you here. Did you see it? It's very quick and subtle. I'll show it to you again. Right there, I'm rising with his left leg. Two last tips to remember when posting. The first is to be careful that your lower leg doesn't swing back and forth when you post. It should stay nice and calm by your horse's side, not kick forward every time you stand up and draw back every time you sit down. Secondly, remember that when you post, it's not straight up and down. Your hips actually move slightly forward over the pommel of the saddle and backward down into the seat of the saddle. Hopefully, these tips will get you started on trotting and posting. Tune in soon for more videos and tips on trotting. Thanks so much for watching! Thanks for watching this video, Help My Daughter Loves Horses. Check out our website for more.